as always, every morning practicing. Practicing is the most important when it comes to playing the drums, the piano, the guitar, and also when it comes to music production. You need to practice and do the stuff over and over and over again to finally get closer to perfection. Next up, speaking of perfection, I'm still not happy with that light show. Maybe now I, I don't need the sunglasses anymore. I, I still like the idea is good. I like it. It's working. There are just like some small things I need to fix really quick and test. Um, there is some MIDI communication between Ableton and Arena by Resonum. That's what we're using to control all the lights. Really, really good software. And it's basically just MIDI mapped. So this right here is reverb, it's MIDI mapped. And the same is happening in Ableton. It's MIDI mapped to reverb. So very, very simple. All can just happen with one computer. But uh, yeah, we need to, to fix some small things. This right here is probably the most fun toy I own. You might already know it from one of the past videos and you definitely know the footage of it. This lens right here, <laughs> it's so special. It's a macro lens that is water resistant up to here. So you can dive into things between things, it just looks amazing. And I want to try out if I make my own assets, because that's like one of the things that bothers me about the live setup. We're using at the moment like pre-made graphics that other people made that, that look good, but they, they're not mine. They don't fit 100% to the songs. And I think it's part of the artistic freedom to do stuff like this yourself, to make it fit to the song. So I'm planning on actually making like a mini music video to every song that will be then the live performance. And I want to try and test it out if the quality is good enough, how it looks on that big screen. So I think I'll film my eye. That's something Eric Pritz inspired me to do with his live show. And also some, some random things here in the studio and put it onto the big screen. It's a little gross, but that is my eye. Film really, really close. You can probably not really see it because it's like camera again from a screen. So I'll blend it in right here. It looks fascinating and gross at the same time. You can see like the water in my eye. You can see like how the hairs have like little drops of, I don't know, whatever to keep them moist, but it's working. It took quite long. I sat here with Andy the gear guy for like three hours, like because like, you have to have a certain codec to have the quality up there, but it's working. It's now all in that program. We even have it as a video. Let me start it. That's my eye moving. It's a little out of focus. It's really hard to focus that close to an eye, but yeah, it just looks epic. And now, as I already showed you, I can put like, for example, an RGB effect on top can be distorted and start flickering around. So I think like using this real life assets, it also has to be centered. Like using these assets, it fits more the vibe of my music. It doesn't have to be my eye. We also use another one that's like one of the knobs of the MOOC and we switch the light around so it's already flickering. Like using this kind of approach and that's just like a test dummy to see if it could work and I think it works. The quality is so crisp, it looks so good. And you, you can see like every scratch on that knob when you're standing here. And we also tested it from five, six meters away. So like if someone is in the crowd, he can still see it crystal clear. Um, it's good, it's really good. But now enough with the light show stuff. That's all nice and fine, but I'm actually here in the studio to make music. So let's go upstairs and work on some, some new music. hundred percent done fully with the session today, not with the song, not yet. The arrangement is done. Next up is mixing. It's called Save the Day. You already know the song. I've been working on it for two years, like on and off, of course. It changed a lot during that time. And it's now actually like the first fully analog, only using external synthesizer song I've ever made. It's fun. I can't say that it sounds any different necessarily, 
but the working process is a lot more fun and there's a lot more movement and automation, which I think is definitely a benefit. More practicing the piano, just, I don't know, just boogie number one, very simple. And afterwards, something really hard, I think I will only be able to do like the first, not even half, maybe the first quarter um, by Beethoven, Moonshine. I don't know what it's called in English, but Moonshine is part of it. You know, it. it's very famous. Like the changing between chords and playing an arp, it hurts a little, but it's getting a lot better. It is 1.06 in the morning. Vanessa is partying a little with her colleagues, her last working day. So instead of me just sitting at home alone, being bored, I just spent it here in the studio, made a little more music. And I got an email like half an hour ago. The speakers, the new big speakers I ordered will arrive in two days. Just two more days, guys. Two more days and the speakers are here. Whew, I'm, I'm so thrilled. This will be, it will be just epic, 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 epic. The biggest unboxing ever here on this channel. So definitely tune in. See you tomorrow again, back here in the studio.